In this video, let's talk about the next numerical problem based on the concept of principal value branch. We have already seen some numerical problems based on the concept of principal value branch for sin inverse, cos inverse, secant inverse, tan inverse. Next in the line is not far behind cosecant inverse. Now cosecant inverse principal value branch we already have learned and so we will be solving the question based on that knowledge for these two parts. Let's get started and let's solve the question together. The first part is what? The first part is cosecant inverse under root 2. So my answer would be what? My answer would depend upon what value or which angle will give me the answer as under root 2. I know that cosecant is under root 2 when sin is 1 upon under root 2 and sin is 1 upon under root 2 when at 45 degrees which is pi by 4. So cosecant inverse root 2 is nothing but equal to sin inverse 1 by root 2 and which is equal to pi by 4 which is 45 degrees and this is the first answer as simple as that. Now what is the value of the second part cosecant inverse minus root 2. We already know in minus sign related questions we have to take more care. So let's see the second part cosecant inverse cosecant inverse of minus under root 2. Now we already know what we already know one simple thing that cosecant inverse range is what it lies between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and you cannot include 0 never ever because cosecant 0 means 1 upon sin 0 and 1 upon sin 0 means 1 upon 0 which is not defined so cosecant 0 is not defined hence you cannot include 0. Now the next thing into consideration is what? What is the answer to this question? Cosecant inverse minus under root 2. Minus under root 2 means what? It is equal to what angle will give me this value? The angle is minus 45 degrees which is minus pi by 4. Now does minus pi by 4 lie in the range of minus pi by 2 to pi by 2? Yes it does. So there is no more thing to be solved in this question. This is my answer as it is. Hence in this video we saw both the paths related to cosecant inverse x 1 negative 1 positive. In the next video in succession we will be seeing the numerical problem of principal value branch based on the topic of cot inverse x.